I think it would be very, very true to say of the character and the culture and the personality of BRP that it is a risk-taking company. And they started off 10 years ago with what I consider to be one of the biggest risks ever taken in the power sport business up until that time. In 0203, the ski doo division launched a new snowmobile, but it wasn't a new model. What it was was a paradigm shift in the business that to, until this day, this vehicle has still been difficult to copy or to emulate by the competition. It was called the Rev then, it's still called the Rev now. But the original beaver tail Rev, as we referred to it in 0203, changed the whole business. It was the vehicle that took ski -Doo from being an also ran, struggling to get back into leadership, to not just leadership, but complete dominance in the market. It was so different, in fact, I remember the first time I rode it uh, at uh, Daniel's Summit in Utah, and I got on the vehicle and started to ride it, and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is completely different. This is the first day of the rest of my life snowmobiling. This company, does the strangest thing. It does the most unbelievable thing in the eyes of the power sports media. It decides that it's going to replace, improve, reinvent the Rev. You have to keep in context here. Most of the competition were still scrambling, struggling to catch up to the original Rev. The original Rev did not need to be changed. I am convinced as a commentator with experience in the power sports business, particularly in the snowmobile business, that they did not need to do in 08 what they did. So what did they do? They take the vehicle, the original Rev, and they scrape and claw and get 50 pounds out of this vehicle. They get 50 pounds of weight out of it. It's completely reinvented again, and it goes back not just into the lead, but to a new level where I actually heard comments in the power sports business where people said, you know what? This is crazy. They didn't need to do that. Why are they so driven to be the best? Why are they so driven to keep improving?